Hello, each and every one of you out there. I am the Dance of Life Dancer. And I'm going to touch upon a subject tonight that's been on the minds of a lot of us lately. I've done some research on it, and I've done some internet searches on it. But I'm going to be drawn from my own experience tonight. Are we living in the Matrix? Is all of this like a computer program? Is reality for real? Are there multiple dimensions? Does time really exist? And, as I am standing here right now, I believe, yes, we are living in the Matrix. And why I believe it, I'm not going to get into that right now. But, is reality for real? This reality that you're looking at right now, I don't believe it's for real, no. I believe it's all part of a program. Sort of like in this computer right here. Each one of us has a program. The Matrix. And, uh, are we living in the Matrix? Yes. Simple answer. Yes, we are living in a Matrix. And, here's what I believe about it. Take upon a subject, time for instance. Each one of us are grown up and are, we are born to believe that time, we go to work, we grow, we, we age, we're 8 years old, we're 9 years old, we're 10 years old, so on and so on and so on. We're taught with a certain program, so to speak. A program that's, oh, it's not supposed to be alterable. It's programmed into us. It's like we program a computer. But is it for real? Do you really grow old? Is time for real? Or is time an illusion? You know what? Time is an illusion. Yes, I believe that. Time does not exist. The past, the present, the future all exist at the same time. So, you're taught from the time you're born. You're taught that this is for real. You know what I mean? You're taught a certain way. You're taught that you're a certain person. You're taught that you're a certain age. You're taught a certain way. You gotta go to work in the morning. You gotta do this. This is what's important over here. This is what's important over here. And if someone was to come along and tell you that all of that is meaningless, what would you do? Would you believe it? Would you think they're crazy? Well, I'll tell you something. I believe it. Not only do I believe it, I know it. Is time for real? No, it's not. It is. It's all an illusion. Everything you see and touch it till you think that this is for real just because you can touch it. It's all made up of atoms. It's not for real. What is for real? That's a good question. Subject of time, space, multiple realities. Multiple realities. Meaning, in each reality, so to speak, in each room, there's a different person, me. Okay, take for instance, if you go down a hallway, and there's a whole bunch of rooms down that hallway, and say each one of those rooms is a multiple reality, and each one of them has me in there, doing this right now. In this room, I'm doing this. In another room, I'm talking about something else. In another room, I'm talking about another subject. But, they all coexist at the same place and the same time, right now. Now is the time. They all coexist at the same time. So, my question here is this. A lot of people, have, I don't know if they've asked this question or not. I haven't researched it that much. Is this a uh, matrix alterable? In other words, can you go from one dimension to another one, to another one, to another one, and not really know the difference? Can you go from one dimension to another one without knowing the difference? Yes. I'm not going to explain how I know that, but yes, you can. Is this all trouble? Can you change the program of the matrix? Can you alter this? Can you make it different? Can you change it? Can you change the outcome? Can you alter stuff? Can, can you do this? Yes, you can. You can alter the program, just like you can alter the program in that computer. Um, the answer to how you do that is really simple. Each one of us is taught to believe in this. 
from the time we're born to the time we die. Death, which is another illusion, it doesn't exist either. But we're taught a certain program, we're taught a certain way from the time we're born to the time we die. We're taught who we are. We're taught we gotta go to work. We're taught this and we're taught that. Someone comes along, you, sim you simply say, how do you exit the matrix? How do you get out of this? The answer to that is really simple. It is extremely simple. However, there ain't nobody out there gonna be able to do it. And the why is this? In order to make this matrix, this computer program, real to you, in order to understand and make this real, you have to believe in it. You have to have faith in it, so to speak, for you people out there that believe in faith. In other words, if you don't believe in this, if you don't believe in this reality, then it becomes not real. You can exit the matrix. You can change it, you can alter it, you can even go from one dimension to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. Uh, I'm going to leave out how I know this, but you can. Trust me. So, like I said, we're taught to believe a certain way, a certain thing, a certain thing, in order to say, I don't believe in this no more. I don't believe in age anymore. How does that work for me? I'm 16 forever. Age is an illusion. Age is no more real than this is real. Time is not for real. Therefore, age isn't for real. How do I dance eight, nine, ten hours straight without going, without stopping? That's simple. I don't have to answer that for you, do I? I don't believe in age. Therefore, I age not. I continue to do this forever. It does not affect me. So, this is all the matrix we're in. Is it possible to exit this matrix? It is possible to exit this matrix. Is it possible to change it? Yes, it is. I'm going to touch upon another subject now that a lot of us have been thinking about out there and everything, which is called uh, Deja Vu. I'm touching upon a number of subjects here today with this. Deja Vu. Feeling you've been someplace that you know you haven't been before. Oh, I think I've, I, I've seen this place. I know I've seen it before someplace, but no, I couldn't have. I've never been there before. Have you ever had that? Well, there is a simple explanation for that. I don't know if you would be able to understand this, but the explanation for it is you actually have been there before. Okay, this is a matrix we're in, right? This is a matrix we're in. Okay, therefore our program, computer program, can be run, rerun, re-rerun, just like a movie. You can rerun the same movie over and over and over and over again, right? You can rerun the same computer program over and over and over. Therefore, you could have been here, done this, and lived this a thousand times. I could have been sitting right here and, t and telling you this a thousand times. And don't ask me how I know that, because I do. So, a thousand times we could have sat here and lived this and done this and lived this and done this. And let's bring this to the subject. For me right now, am I really the dancer life dancer? Is all of this for real? Is your job for real? Is anything for real? Or is it all an illusion? Are we all in the matrix someplace? And the place that we're, we're really at, you wouldn't want to be at. Trust me, you wouldn't want to be there. What is for real? Am I the dancer life dancer right now? Is it an illusion? Well, you want to know something? Maybe it is an illusion. Maybe I am not for real. Maybe this isn't for real. Maybe the dance of life is not for real. Maybe you're not for real. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know if you do or not, because if I would explain it any more complicated, I'm afraid you would not understand it. But take the matrix. Take multiple realities. One reality right next to the other one. Multiple universes, multiple realities. Whatever the outcome is, an infinite number of possibilities is possible. Whichever you can think of possible, it's possible for that to come true like that. I could be sitting here right now. Take a, okay, let me explain this in another way. A hallway full of rooms. Each one of them is a different, a different me in there. 
I'm in ten different rooms. However, in each one of those different rooms, it's a multiple reality. And I'm doing a different thing, but it exists right now in this period in time. So, is it possible to transport between two different times? Yes, it, it actually is. So, therefore, if you go someplace and something strange happens, or somebody doesn't know you, or something happens, and actually, you're going to a different place, a different time, only it's the same time. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is possible to pass back and forth two different realities, so to speak. However, some people can do it, and some people can't do it. Don't ask me how I know that. But, uh... Are we in the matrix right now? Yes, we are. So if we're in the matrix right now, that means all of this, this universe, everything is a computer program. Sort of like it's running on this computer right now. And that is proven. And I'm not going to go into the details of how I know all of this. But I've studied it, and I've, I've looked it up, and I didn't have to study it because you want to know something? I knew it before it ever came up on that computer. But, uh... This is a matrix, we're running a computer program, this program can be altered. But the secret to altering that program is to no longer believe in it. That's something you can't do. Because you're programmed to believe this. Just like you're programmed to believe that this wall here is blue. If I were to tell you that this is black, you wouldn't believe that, right? This is black right now. You wouldn't believe that. If I sit there and tell you enough times that this is black, you're going to believe it. You want to know something? That's, that's the way torture is. However, it really isn't black, it's blue. You're not seeing what's for real. You're seeing what they programmed into you to see. It's not for real. It is not for real. You, each time you wake up, you sit there and you wonder, is any of this for real? Is anything meaningful? Or is it not for real? Am I really here right now? And, or is it not for real? We are in the matrix. A computer program. And my friend, it's alterable. Yes, you can alter it. But in order to alter this program, the first thing you got to do is say, I do not believe in this anymore. I don't believe in this reality no more. And there ain't nobody out there that I know can do that. Can you, can you alter it? Yes, you can. Can you exit it? Yes, you can. However, I don't know if you want to go where the real, re the other side of it is, but yes, you can. You can exit this real, this uh, matrix. That's a hot subject nowadays, and I can tell you two things. Yes, we are in some kind of a program. We're on some kind of a metric matrix. That is what I firmly believe in. And I also believe that, and I know, not believe, I know that it's alterable. In other words, you can change it. You can change the outcome. You can change tomorrow. You can change this and that. You can change the matrix. You can change the program if you know how to do it. So, number one, I'm talking about each one of us. I'm sorry. Each one of us is in the matrix. Each one of us makes our own reality. We make our own time. What you believe in, that's what it becomes. Do you understand that? If you believe this to be, if you believe you're 17 forever, you will be 17 forever. If you believe you're sick, you will be sick. If you believe, in other words, you make your own program. Do you understand that? You make your own way. Whatever you set out in your mind, because that's where this all is. It's right up here. We're stuck right up here. That's where the matrix is. If you believe it to be, it will be. That's why I, I firmly put out my hand and say, if you know you're 17 forever, you will be. And you will dance hours and hours and hours and hours on end without ever stopping. So, I see I'm short on time here, but that is part one of, is re reality for real? No, reality is not for real. Are we living in the matrix, a computer generated program? I firmly do believe so, yes. And can it be altered? I firmly do believe so, and I know so, yes. So from me to you, the Dance of Life Dancer, I tune in to you to join me next time, part two of Is Reality For Real? Or Are We Living In The Matrix? Thank you, and I wish you a good night to each and every one of you. Remember, remember my friend, thank you.